Just got a tip, there's no debate. I know a gent that'll set you straight. It's Vinny Fella time. Good fellow who's got what it takes. A New Yorker too, make no mistake. It's Vinny Fella time. Tell you who's better than you. Elizabeth Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotar. Who's better than you? Welcome to the Vinny Velo Show again. Thank you for being here tonight. I have my co-host back. Hello. Carissa Clark. Hi. Hi, how you doing, baby? Always happy to be here. I'm good. Always happy to be here. Yeah. You know, when I'm at home, and especially when I'm alone, I like listening to music. Maybe I'm a little old-fashioned, but I like the doo-wops. Yeah, you I do. like so, you know, uh -huh. I like... Um, toe tap and music. Oh, yeah. I like soul music. Mm -hmm. I like to do what. My wife, I don't know where she's coming from. What does she like? Rap. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I love your wife and I love rap. But really. You, you can keep her. Is she, that's so funny. Is she Tupac or? I, uh, but sometimes she puts on like the Jamaican music. Okay. That I don't mind. Okay. I like that. I don't like to rap. Okay. At least I'm honest about it. Yeah, that's true. As far as I'm concerned, rap is crap. Ah, you know? that's funny. But then again, some of it's okay. Okay. Some of it. You want to know something? What? This is God's honest truth. Hmm. In my neighborhood, there's a place called Emilio's. It's a very exclusive Italian restaurant. And the, and the cooks in that restaurant are Italian. Most of them in Italy, uh, in Little Italy, are uh, Guatemalans, Mexicans, Yeah, whatever. sure they are, of course. Um, in this, in this restaurant. They have the Italianos, Italian. yes. And um, so J-Lo called it was about two weeks ago, made reservations for this restaurant. I was there. He says, we don't, we don't make reservations. First come, first, first come, first serve. She said, we're guaranteed to spend 40000 He said, what time are you coming in? <laughs> <laughs> God almighty. It just goes to show you, money talks. It does. God bless America. Uh huh. God bless America. All right. What time you coming in? <laughs> mhm. Mm I don't understand. I always say so, that if it, it's not really a problem, if throwing money at it makes it go away. And the bill. This is the, this was the bill. Twenty nine thousand dollars. Oh. She gave forty. Said give it to the waiters. Mmm. Good for like her. Like forty twenty nine. Yeah. Eleven thousand dollars. For like four waiters. Good for them. Eleven thousand. Good for eight, them. Six, nine, twelve. It's almost like three thousand mm -hmm. a piece. Yeah. I want a job in there. Yeah. Well, on that particular night. Just one day a week. <laughs> you know? You'd be. I could see you in the kitchen, like back there, like eating, or you know what I mean, just just eating the oh, bread yeah. and butter and oh, dipping yeah. in marinade, and the, and the cooks being like, stop oh, I it. I don't need Vinny, bread. Vinny, come I on. Stay away. I stay away You're from like, bread more. and desserts. <laughs> you know? I lost quite a bit of weight. Now, well, it might not look it. I was 253, now I'm down to 225. So I want to leave it like that. Okay. For now. And, um, but I'll tell you, um, what time you coming in? That's, that's, that got me. $11,000. What did you eat at Emilio's? What was your meal? Well, you know what I like? I like, I like fish. Okay. I like, I like, like lobster. Oh, yes. With angel hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Surrounded by clams, mussels, oh, scoon jail, you know, all that stuff. Mm. I like that. But I know. Uh, yum. Right? And uh, there's another place, the Nico's in Little Italy. The Nico's is excellent. It's a little bit more expensive, just a little bit more. But the food is, they sent me, I ordered lobster, um, lots of fried Diablo, and the dish was huge. <laughs> mm. It was embarrassing. 
It was embarrassing. I want people to look at me. That big ditch in front of me. Did you have a bib? You needed the whole table. Huh? Oh, I had a bib. I had a sheet. <laughs> a thin sheet. He was all told, talking, guys. I told the waiter, cut, before, sweet, I even, cut little before I even eat this, wrap half of it up, because I want people to go by and see me like a whole huge ditch like that. Or, That's it. yeah. When was the last time this guy ate? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's funny? If you had them wrapped half of it and then you ate it, it would make it look like you ate all of it. <laughs> That's Do right. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I had to wrap it before I even uh, ate it. Yeah, I know, but still, I tease you. Know? you. And uh, That's good. But it's amazing. But Little Italy is no longer the way it used to be. No, it's, it's not. It's not a Chinese. Matter of fact, I'm down here so long, I'm learning how to speak Chinese. <laughs> you know? But that's another story. No, that's, that's you, you get very what? emotional. You get emotional about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you want to know something? I'm not, I don't want to get into it. And I'm a good guy. But you want to know something? You know who seems to like me a lot? Puerto Rican women? <laughs> yeah, Puerto Rican in Chinese. Hmm. <laughs> I know why they're Puerto Rican. <laughs> Because they, at night they go, hi, papi, hi. <laughs> I don't know what the Chinese say, but that's another story. Okay. Anyway, tonight, I want to get out of this story. Anyway, tonight, we have again. I know, I'm excited. We have my friend, mm -hmm. Frank Lisi, sure with a new, in the movie, yes. and Maria, yes. and the cast. Maria Jefferson, And the name of the movie back. is called Breath. Breast Angel. Breast well, Angel. The, the name the of the movie is Offstage Elements. What is it called? Offstage Elements. Oh, it's Offstage Elements. And the name of the band Brand. in it's the called. movie Brass Angel. Brass Angel. Brass Angel. That's That's okay. and, and you kindly um, <laughs> get gifted us with the t-shirts. Yes. Very nice of you to think of us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So we, we had the pleasure of meeting some of your cast, and I'm now so others happy are back. Everybody here so welcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, most amazing last name, share it. Chris Wow, Marty Chris It's in, it's Polish and it means literally it means crooked nose. Oh my gosh, Tata. Yes, crooked nose. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. Can, I can never figure out how I can never remember how to spell his name correctly. Chris so Wannis, yeah. I always the way I if thought you spell about it, it. If you it spell says, it wrong, you'll you'll probably get it right. That's well, so funny. Well, I, I always yeah. remembered it by saying crazy. Because it's K R Z Y. Yeah. That's, I've, 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 I've heard that before. Oh. That's so funny. You play the you play, do you play the. I'm the keyboard player. Yeah. I play Pete McGonagall. Yeah, you do. But uh, my nickname uh, in the film, the the character is Creepy Pete. Oh, <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Creepy Pete? Uh, yeah. Creepy I can't Pete. understand. I'm, I'm the best looking said. guy in the band. You're a I don't huh? even understand Creeper. where they're coming from. <laughs> but you know, basically, uh, besides being a keyboard player, I have a kind of a hobby. Oh, I like gosh. to like make a Halloween. Uh, various Halloween items. Was that, it la, 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 la? Yeah, with, no. with, 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 no, 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 it's okay. No, We're no, not giving okay. anything away. We're, you know, <laughs> it's just, there's some really funny stuff in there. Oh, it's more funny it. as opposed yeah. to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't kill anybody. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's, we've not, had like the real, is the real Jason on many times, you know? We're friends with, I guess, Jason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Friday 13th or whatever yeah. he's on. Okay, well, on that note, <laughs> mm. right? You know, but. Marty, I remember when Marty uh, was invited down to audition. Okay. <laughs> um, there was quite a few musicians, because Marty's a fantastic pianist, you know. He uh, plays great mm -hmm. keyboards. And <laughs> so bring down the keyboards, play for us, you know, we, they knew the score of the song we were going to use. And, uh, but what nailed it was the way he read for Creepy Pete. Oh, God. <laughs> He's yeah. got this laugh. distinctive laugh. Oh, yes. gosh. You know, um, and then <laughs> after he read, uh, Maria and I looked at each other like, Oh, you're uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable, perfect. Yeah, yeah, it was, Would uh, you laugh for us? Yeah, he, he oh, it, it, it starts from the toes, <laughs> comes up to the knees, and it's sort of like, <laughs> Weird, you made my toes yeah. curl. And, <laughs> and his character has good, that hobby good. of making these creatures. Okay. Gotta see them Stop more. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marty. He's but, good. That's good. Uh, That's Marty's good. a lot better than Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a real fun role. And the ironic thing was, I, I came in twice. First, I just came in cold just to audition for anything mm -hmm. that they would throw at my. That's great. And yeah. I, so I, I auditioned for it was a it was a preacher yeah. character. Okay. Pastor Bob. 
<laughs> and they, they, then I saw on Facebook that they still had some openings, so I said, hey, well, I'd like to try out for uh, Pete. And oh. that's how that worked out. So, Roz, tell us a little bit about your character, Miss what is it, Roz Fulton. I, nice no, to not meet my you. character. I had the best job ever casting all the extras. Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. She in the movie. You were casting everybody. Mostly all the extras. Okay. Frank and them, they knew who they wanted as far as lead. <laughs> I, encouraged, I encouraged him to go out. <laughs> okay, right? so you weren't even, in, you were in the film, you were the magic I do, behind. I, I have everyone. a little part. I play a woman in the church. Okay. I say amen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, she casted me, right? Oh, that's yeah. great. No, I casted you. Mm -hmm. I casted Charles Dutton for it. Didn't you cast yeah. me one time for one of the movies? I was working with you with Charles <laughs> Dutton. She put you together with Charles Dutton in the last film I did. With Charles, Charles Dutton. Dutton. Oh, yeah. The Rock. Yeah. That was the last film. Yeah, Roz has a little, she's got her hooks in a lot of great actors in the Philly and throughout yeah. the whole nation, actually. You know? We have a nice way about you, too, I can see. I'm celebrating see. 40 years of casting. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. Unbreakable. All right. Wow, good for you. And what does, I have to ask, Roz, is that your name? Is that yes. your nickname? That's my, well, Rosalind is my real name. Rosalind. Roz is my nickname. Roz. Roz is cool. She sparkles, Vin. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. So that's nice. Of, a lot of jewelry on there. So you have the eye. And the eye's innate. You can't teach it. You can just know. Well, you just know. Well, these guys bring me alive. Okay, that's wonderful. You know, when I'm around them, I'm around show business. That's great. Born and raised. I wanted to say one thing about Roz yes. as a casting director for the extras. That is a, such a hard job, and yeah. every every scene that I was in where she had extras, she got the nicest people and yeah. the most professional ones. Mm. And that, and a lot of times in movies, that's very difficult because a lot of times yeah. you get some, you know, hack. Uh, background actors who don't know how to handle themselves. Mm -hmm. Roz has the magic touch to know how to find the right people. Mm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. They know not to talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you ask me maybe one of your movies? Oh, yes, definitely. There you go. Oh, that, you and Maria. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> and Frank. How are you? <laughs> and last and certainly not least, Chris Phillips. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What role did you play? I'm a classically trained piano player, yeah. so Frank and Maria brought me on to do the composition, to do okay. composing. So there was a song called Angel and Butterfly, which was like a heavy rock song, big guitars, and they wanted an orchestral version of it. So I created an orchestral version with lots of strings and mm. big orchestral drums, and I just made a big production out of it. And that's going to be a lot of the background music that you hear in the film. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. And we so were supposed to be playing one night. Yeah. Marinos. Uh -oh, yeah. You well, sound like you're in trouble right that's there. That's another you story. <laughs> so, what happened? so another woman who's in the film is Jordi Littman, who yes. has a, a major role in the film. Jordi and I are friends, and we're working on writing a play together. Okay. In the play, there's a song that we wrote called If Vinny Loves Me, and the song is about <laughs> her love for Vinny. And it's a very Italian type thing. I have a very sweeping piano line, and Jody sings in a very operatic type of voice. So you mix that with her opera voice. It's a really beautiful song, and it's a tribute to Vinny. And in the song, we talk about how talented of an actor is and why she loves him so much, because he's a great guy, he's a funny guy, he's been in all these movies, and he knows a lot of great people, like Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, so we do a lot of name dropping in the song also. <laughs> so. Cool. It's a great song, and we were really hoping to play it at Dan Marino's, where they have a piano here. But oh. um, I guess that show got canceled for some reason. Let's play it here, Vin. Oh. Yeah, oh. All we got to do, <laughs> do is get a piano, get a piano in here, that. and Jody yeah. and I can perform it. Well, you know, yeah. I was sick for a while, yeah. Yeah. and Dan Marino's been calling me up, calling me up, come on down, come on down, down. Now, I don't have a problem going down the steps. I got a little problem going, uh, going up the steps. Mm. And, um, but it's getting better, you know, it's getting better, you know, and, um, they want to send me for, like, all this therapy, and leg exercises, and I, I don't have the time for it. I mean, I know it's going to help me, but I try to do as much as I can in my building. Where I live, the ground floor, I live two above that. So I got to climb mm. two steps, oh, two yeah, flights of stairs awful. going up, and that's so hard for me. No elevator. No. You know, where I'm living now. Yeah, oh. he used to live in an elevator building, I and then ironically, to... you moved to this one, and this is where you really need the elevator. Yeah. 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 And this, you know, I really need that elevator bad. So now we just bought the 
the Apartmino and Co-op. But you want to know some? Eventually, I decided I'm going to sublet. I'm going to buy another one with an elevator. Mm-hmm. And I live in the one with the elevator. There you yeah, go. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So I can't make these two flights. By the wow. time I go upstairs, I get in my birthday suit and I get right in bed. <laughs> yeah, so you, you can know? only do that like once a day if you do it at all, right? Well, yeah, I do it you once do, a day. You do, you, you sometimes you go out, you run an errand, you do something in the morning, and then you'll stay out for a little while, and then you kind of plan your day full if you go. <clears throat> two so weeks ago, once. I was bringing up the mail, Yeah. and the mail slipped out of my hand, and I was at the top of the steps, Went all the way down to the bottom. Oh, man. Mm. I said, no way. No, you left someone right at <laughs> your door. Wow. So you know what I did? Very simple. I sat on the top stoop until somebody came in the building. <laughs> I said, do me a favor. I can't walk. My mail's on it. You pick it up for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, anyway, that's another story. We were anyway. speaking about the, uh, food before. Yeah. The, we have this little scene that takes place in the diner. Ooh. Of the main characters, the guys in the band, yeah, 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 where they finally receive message to open up for a big band at a music festival okay. overseas, yeah. and that's <laughs> when they start really peaking. Okay. You know, I think we have a clip for you yeah. if you uh, if you show. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not no. in this one, baby. Here it goes. Can I get you guys anything else today? Uh, just a check, thanks. There you go. Have a good one. So, I was waiting for band practice to tell you this, but since we're all here together, here goes. Brass Angel has been invited to open for headliner Grazing Shrapnel at the Inferno Festival in Norway. Seven months away, in Norway, opening for freaking Grazing Shrapnel. Can you believe it? <laughs> Are you kidding us? <laughs> no. This is it, guys. This is the break we've all been waiting for. Grazing shrapnel. Are you shitting me? No, and that's not all. Scott Roberts of He's the Man Records has offered us a recording contract. Am I a complete idiot, or am I the only guy in the room who doesn't know who Scott Roberts is? I've never heard of him. Or well, He's the Man Records. He's the Man Records is a major Christian recording label. A what? Okay, you just blew it for me. I second that. So, if we sign with this record label, do we have to convert to Christianity? I mean, I'm not going to be forced to say I believe in something that I really don't believe in. You're right. No one can force any of you into becoming Christians. That's not a deal breaker in the contract. However, there will be certain expectations placed upon us as a... Christian label band. I'm not buying any of this shit. Okay. Okay. I'll bring the contract to band practice this week so you can all carefully look it over, okay? Should we get a lawyer to look it over? That's totally not necessary. Besides, that costs money. And we blew the band fund on the CD. Who am I kidding? I'm not good enough to play for you guys, let alone grazing shrapnel. I'm gonna pass out. I'm, I'm gonna fade to black. Hey, come on, get it together, man. Come on. Breathe, breathe, slowly, slowly. All right. All right. I'm sorry, man. You'll be fine. I'll help you go over the notes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say one thing before we start. You know, I got, I was operated on my arm. So between my arm, my right arm, my left leg, I'm in constant pain. Mm. I really am, even now. And they can't do anything for it. Well, for my arm anyway. So the doctor gave me these oxycodone pills. I try not to take them too much because I don't want to get hooked on pills. 
But I'll tell you when I do use them, when I'm trying to get a cab and I can't get one, I take one of them, I can fly around the city. <laughs> you know? So that's number one. And my doctor, I tell him, can't do nothing for my arm. You know, for all this pain. He said, Vinny, when you wake up in the morning, if you have no pain, that means you're dead. Oh, <laughs> okay. so, Very nice. So I'll stick with the pain. That's where Vinny's at. Okay. <laughs> so, so I love that scene. That was great. I love the way they were shot. Yeah. I love the lighting. That's good. Uh, Thank you. Michael McFadden is mm -hmm. the lead actor who, Vic, he was telling everybody the good news. And sitting to his left was Robert Pinnock, uh, a drummer, a uh, stage actor here from New York. He mm -hmm. cast him out of New York. It was just a great group of guys. The right. chemistry was there. Right. Everybody did their homework, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? There was, I think, no more than four or five takes ever. Oh, my God. You know? It's um, amazing. Yeah, the, and it was just a great group of actors, and uh, the chemistry was there. It really, really seems loved. that way. I mean, Maria honestly, did a fantastic no job it's defining really these certain locations. Mm -hmm. There was just... It's, She's got a knack of scout locating. It's, it's <laughs> you get the really feeling. Fabulous. You just get the feeling. Yeah. You're, there, you're like, this is where this is. Yeah. And uh, when I'm writing the the parts, the certain scenes, I have you know certain areas, locations, and vision in my head of sure. where they could okay. be. Yeah. And I'm thankful to have a lot of friends and connections that help so me did, out. So is with it the... just complete magic when you've drummed something up, you've written it? You know, it comes to, it was going to be a webisode, and you're like, not a webisode, now we, you make it into this film, and then everyone starts auditioning. And then you just kind of know, and all this magic just starts to happen. And then all of a sudden you're on set, and it's like, what does that feel like for you? Um, well, I think it was, you know, everybody's just working together as a team, and you're just doing the best, you're, 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 you're in the moment. So I think in the moment, you really don't think about, or at least I didn't think about that. Um, you know, Frank did a great job with collaborating and, and, and getting the movie done from start to finish, and the cast was amazing. Um, and just getting it done one day at a time. Mm -hmm. I think just now is when I'm starting to, you know, when we're so close to a final cut, um, I'm starting to really see it all come together. And this is the first time that I can actually say that I'm uniquely or genuinely excited about the movie. You were saying how the movie is about living your dreams and being committed and having follow through and the patience it takes. But think about what you were just saying too. It's about being so present, mm -hmm. you know, to be so engaged that oftentimes people just want to go from here to here, right. not understanding that it is just kind of chipping away every single day, right. all the time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes knowing when to put something down and pick it back up. Right. Right? And That's just correct. kind of be honest about that. Definitely. Because all, uh, people just want the success so badly that they don't necessarily allow for the journey. I know it's kind of cheesy to say, but. It's just true, right? It's very true. There's so many um, bumps in the road, and you have to learn how to just take each bump with a grain of salt and right. work through those challenges the best way that you can. They might not always work out the way that you want them to or plan on doing, um, you know, but they... It's, it's the hindsight. The worst thing is, like, hindsight, yeah. you look back and you're like, ah. Right. No wonder that didn't work out. It wasn't right. Right, yeah. Right? Yeah, but, I mean, the vibe here is good. It's such an honor to meet you all here and then to have met... The other cast is like, oh, I bet it was fun. Yeah. It's a fascinating fun. feeling when you're putting words on paper mm. and then you're seeing it come to life on mm. screen. You know, I wrote the first three scripts of films that I've done, mm -hmm. and that was, yeah, casting, production, that's all so exciting. But in post-production, it's when it comes to life. Mm. Mm. All the bells and whistles, all the sounds, all the music. Those stories come to life. They have wow. a face that, you know, and it's a fascinating feeling, isn't yeah. it? That's cool. That's important. Good for you. Good for you. We got the finger. I just wanted to say something. Uh, just I just want everybody to know that that movie that I did, it's coming out in 2019. Oh, I can't wait okay. for that. All right, good. You know, and uh, I want to, I want to come to the screening of this movie. Yes, absolutely. Is that movie, Philly or Jersey? Hopefully both. Yeah. Hopefully both. Film hopefully festivals, both. hopefully in the tri-state area. Hopefully we'll see everybody again then. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, that'll be Looking so nice. forward to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's great. You know, you can follow us on Offstage Elements Facebook page or DreamQuest Entertainment or MVJ Productions Facebook okay. page. Well, I call you up enough to. <laughs> I know. Offstage well, Elements. Calling. Roz, what were you going to say? Were you going to say something? I was just saying, being behind the scenes and knowing Maria, I met her before she even met Frank to mm -hmm. do a movie 
and to, to watch her go through the things that happened that normally anybody else would have like snapped. Mm. <laughs> but, but, we, but we saw it all, and it's yeah. it's really a great thing to Thank see you. her dream come true. Thank and you. working with such people <laughs> and being back here on the show, everything. Well, I really oh, hope that this guys, movie that thank you. you guys just finished, finished. They're finished. Yeah. It's in post. I really hope this one goes somewhere. Looking forward to it. And I feel yeah. it will. that it would, that it will, because from what I heard, and uh, just it was remember, shot I'll mm -hmm. pay for the butt side. Just take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for your Uber. I'm on his too, so we're both showing up. Right? <laughs> yeah, because. Yeah, you know, it's always a. Every time I see Frank, I feel like a star again. Yes. Oh. It makes you feel like. I feel the same way when I'm around you. There you go. Aww. There you go. Yeah. Well, you want to know something? People say to me, "How is it to work with these big stars that I've worked with?" And I've worked with all of them. You want to know something? I got to the point where I say, "How is it for them to, to work, work with, with me?" me. That's right. There you go. Amen. Yeah. I've done so many films. You know, and um, and I love them all, and uh, especially when I get paid. They give me the check, <laughs> and they say, "What was the best movie ever made?" This one, right? Yeah. Here. <laughs> this was the best. One day, I hope it's gonna be a big, big screen for you. I really wish you well. Thank I remember you. one time we were working in a basement where I chopped somebody's head off. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, mate. Yeah. Was it? No, no, you stabbed somebody in the hand. I what? You stabbed someone in the hand. I did something to his hand? The red Corvette, remember? You put the rosary beads around them, stabbed them in the hand. Ow. Oh, yeah. That was a different film. Oh, We're talking yeah, about yeah, a yeah. film here. Yeah. 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 All stage elements. 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 All